Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for being here again on another episode of Undressed with me, Paul, and my husband, Patrick. Hey, everyone. First of all, before I tell you some exciting news of where we are, I have got to tell you to rate, review, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that stupid bell so you get notifications every Wednesday. Wake up, wake up your grandmother. You know what to do. Yeah, Ring make, that bell. Yeah, make that bitch subscribe like everybody else. And now I'm excited because we are coming to you from one of the coolest places in the world. We're in Dubai. Dubai, baby. Yeah, if you don't know where Dubai is, it's in the United States. United Arab Emirates. Emirates. Did I say that right? UAE. UAE. United Arab Emirates. And it's like Disneyland. It's one of the coolest places. And I'm really excited because, first of all, we got two awesome guests in the house today. And we want to thank uh, Versace Palazzo for putting us in this amazing suite in Dubai with a fabulous view. And our two guests. We've got Persiana Dulo. She is, first of all, she's this, the theme song writer and singer for Gown and Out in, in Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Season four, award-winning Yes, show. and she's an amazing girl. She is a fashionista herself, let me tell you. This bitch knows how to dress. And tonight, she's wearing this fabulous purple outfit, gown, that Paul's going to tell she you She gave about. us instructions. We had to be in purple, so we're trying to stay within theme of purple. Purple. I think I'm kind this of This is the only purple. thing I can find in purple. I see purple on there. That's I fine. see purple. <laughs> okay, let me introduce our second guest because we got a second guest. Our second guest is a fashion entrepreneur. His name is Martin Victor Al Masri. And he is also from the House of Victor. House of Victor. Victor. Some awesome clothing, really cool stuff. We're going to get into the styles and all of that in Dubai. But he also has an amazing fashion magazine called, tell us the name of it. What's the name of the magazine? Victor Magazine. Oh, Victor of course magazine. it's Victor Magazine. Would you think it was anything else? No. <laughs> it's all about him. Of course. <laughs> and I bet you you're wearing House of Victor tonight, Victor. Yes. I'm wearing a special design that I made for this episode. Number 33. The pattern is number 33. Who told you? You told me oh. at breakfast. <laughs> when we were having breakfast, he's like, uh, I didn't like the first 32, so I decided that I needed one more, and I did this one myself, and it's number 33. I love it. Patrick was thinking it was the evil eye, but it's not. I thought it was, but it's your logo, the House of Victor. I love it. It's really but, cool. But the more you look at it, you see it's not. It's so peaceful. Yes, I like it's it. It's peaceful. I like yes. it. It looks like an eye with two horns. It doesn't give the first impression right, but when you look at it one more time, you feel like it's like a psychological test. Is it a cat? Is it a V? Is it an I? Yeah, you know? right? Because this is the perception that I got. And yeah. I wanted people to look at the logo long enough to absorb it subconsciously. And, but people, and people know you're, and people will now know that you're a Capricorn, like my husband, which is perfectionist extraordinaire I to the like fact that. that you had to kick out 32 addition logos before you pick number 33. Why is 33 a good number? It's a great number. Yeah, Every number was a good number. number. Yeah, I, I, number. I'm sure the first 32 were just as beautiful. It was, it, well, yes, it didn't give me the feeling that I wanted to everyone to feel when they see the logo. I like it just it. wasn't satisfying. Enough. What's the feeling that you want everybody to feel? Power. Oh, Ooh, I, like I like that. that. It's very nice. Nice. Persiana, nice. tell us what you're wearing because you look stunning in, in purple. purple. <laughs> Well, she is royalty in Dubai, yes. so I think purple suits her. Yeah. I love purple, and plus that we're in Palazzo Versace, so the purple color is uh, like a signature here in Dubai. So, yes. yeah, so I had to it's dress up with the purple color okay. to match the hotel. So, yes. And for our listeners that do not know, Persiana is also the event coordinator of the Golden Wings Gala. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. And she brought us to Dubai. Paul's going to be showing some beautiful gowns. And it's going to be an amazing show. I'm really excited. So tell us, Persiana, and tell our listeners, what is the show? Don't What's spoil gonna anything for me because there's a lot of surprises and I don't yeah, know. And you I cannot don't tell know. him that surprise. I don't want to know. But tell us what to expect. Okay, but the all show. the other stuff. So you can tell me. <laughs> 
so this is the Golden Wings Awards. Um, it's awards basically of my magazine, Golden Wings uh, Luxury Magazine. Beautiful magazine, by yes. the way. Yes. Um, so we have a signature to put only celebrities on the cover pages. Okay. Of each magazine, and um, and do you only um, is it Middle East celebrities or anyone from the world? It could be anyone from okay. the world. We actually have Hollywood celebrities, Middle nice. East celebrities. Can I audition to be? Close to you being can. on the cover. I'd like to audition. Can I put my name you in the hat? You don't need an audition, actually. <laughs> You're already elected. Oh. oh. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. see. It's a I beautiful. It. It's a beautiful color. So magazine. tell us what's going to happen at the night of the so award yeah, show. Golden Wings Awards yes. uh, is basically in collaboration with Jewelry Fashion Week. Nice. Uh, so Which is like LA's Fashion Ooh, Week, but jewelry. for jewelry. jewelry. Got it. And for fashion, both. Okay. So we basically do a very luxury gala dinner where we award all these celebrities that we put on the cover pages of our magazine. Nice. We award them with the Golden Wings Award with the purpose to give them uh, golden wings on their back so they can fly to their new success. Oh, that's so, I like that. Yeah. Empowerment, golden wings, success. I'm loving Dubai. <laughs> I'm loving the energy. Gold is kind of my signature because I'm in love with the gold. Aww. Well, I saw your phone case. Yeah, we don't want to show anybody your phone case because <laughs> it may be kidnapped. That's what I'm worried about. I have 24 karat gold phone case for my iPhone. I love it. I think it fits my iPhone. It's being charged. I, if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if it's missing and you go looking for it, don't go very far. It will be with me. And, and Martin, you're involved with the fashion show as well. You're going to be showing House of Victor. Uh, I'm actually hosting the entire event. Oh, you are? Yes. Oh. You're hosting? <laughs> you are the hostess with the mostess. Wow. <laughs> Can I say I'm the only host actually that night, the whole evening. Oh. You're see me a lot on stage. Wow. Are you, gonna, are, you gonna make, are you going to make fashion changes? Are you going to do it like the Academy Awards where you come on, you do your entrance, then you go backstage, you change, you come back, and then you do another fashion statement, you come back, and it graduates into more formal, more evening, and more dramatic? More importantly, are you wearing a ball gown? <laughs> <laughs> it's not finished yet. Oh not my finished. God, last minute? Yes. Okay, you guys, start drinking your coffee yeah, because we're, coffee we made coffee. you Armenian coffee, and Paul is going to read your future. Your coffee yeah. grind. He's going to read your coffee grinds and really? tell you what's in store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quite strong. Pretend you like it. <laughs> it's from Pal it's from Palazzo Versace. <laughs> yes. It is kind of strong, really. It is. Well, I push, that, that's a strong read. I push two buttons. <laughs> Armenians are very strong. There, there must be something. They're a bitches. Definition They're all that. bitches. <laughs> this, is, this I can vouch for. This is true. It's to answer your part. question, yes. I have a fashion show on 4th of June. Okay. Oh, uh, June 4th? Yes. Am I invited? I think so. Oh, yay! <laughs> I'm coming back? Um, so I'm doing uh, something that I haven't done before. Uh -oh. um, the show isn't going to be a normal catwalk. It's going to be a theatrical experience. Explain. Oh. Uh, there are a lot of projections. OK. Uh, there are holograms. Nice. Um, Ooh. And all I can tell you is you won't, you won't know who is the real physical model and who's astral projected. So are you doing AI? We're working on it, and actually, Persiana is helping me a lot with the event. Okay, like we're very interesting. Back. Nice. Well, Persiana, I was looking at the the layout of what you have. It's amazing. Like the stage, oh, I'm blown I away. Yeah, it's a fantasy edition of the show. So basically, it's called the Secret Garden because it's in collaboration with the uh, Dubai Jewelry Fashion Week. Yes. Uh, so um, we have the awards in between the fashion designers, but the fashion designers. Uh, basically, basically they will have a show where, where imagine, imagine like, like a secret, secret garden like, like a, a mystical secret garden, garden right. where they will have you know the, the audience will have like, like a good experience and can you tell us where the show is going to be it's going to be in Armani Hotel Burj Khalifa the beautiful the most famous tower in the world <laughs> it is it's not the tallest tower yes. anymore though somebody told me it's no longer the tallest tower in the world well, we don't care about that come on <laughs> well, in the it United, is the coolest tower in the world. In the United <laughs> Arab Emirates, it's the tallest tower, and we're here. But it was at one time the tallest tower in the world. But that, but, but that's to be debated because they told me that the world is a circle <laughs> when we were flying here. 
I thought it was flat. If you lay it flat, I think it's the tallest tower. This is Paul. If it's a circle, <laughs> because you know that plane never went downwards. I don't know how it came. This is Paul. We're, first of all, we're on Emirates Airline, which if you've not flown Emirates Airline, I've got to tell our listeners, they must fly Emirates Airline because it's a fabulous airline. It was a good experience. Yeah, very nice. And he's looking at the screen and he turns to me and he goes, I thought the world was round. I'm like, the world is round. He goes, no, I'm looking at the plane but it was and it's flat. flat. <laughs> you know, you get to watch it from the plane. I never saw the round. I was like, you call we this never a 3D view. You know, I want to tell you something <laughs> yes. that no one really believes in, but yes. I know that you guys are asking the question, but do you really believe it's flat or, or a sphere? Honestly. What I think feel? it's Forget a circle. What you, what you see, what you feel. Because it's totally different. I don't know, because when I stand straight, I never feel like I'm upside down. So it's got to be flat. I'm believing I think I think the Earth is diagonal. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we send you in the... That's don't the ask him. That's new. He, he actually, actually wants to go... I think the Earth is diagonal. You got to the space He actually wants to go to the moon. I want to go. He signed up. Yes. So we'll see if he gets to go. I don't have a problem not going. So... You can I shoot just, your reality show there. But we cannot no. bring Snow White. I just, yeah. But you, you didn't brought her They don't have a helmet here. for puppies. What? Yeah. You didn't brought her I here. wanted to bring her here, but you were telling me first time that yeah, they know. might quarantine her. It's a yes, little bit strict. Yes, it's very stressful. When you came, because you moved here. And I miss her so much. You moved here from the United States. Yes. What, four years ago? Like, yeah, I guess. Before, before COVID years. and everything, yeah. Yeah, tell us what it's like to move out of LA and come to Dubai to yeah. a foreign country. <laughs> not speak the language and make such a success out of everything. Absolutely. Just explain to me how I can't even manage to take three steps in a hotel properly, <laughs> yet you just come to Dubai and you take over. Tell me. No. Well, you know, the first time I came to Dubai, I actually came with guys. I know. Oh, you remember right. that, right? Yeah, of course. So and we had a great time with Mona. We had hands. an amazing time. Yeah. Yeah. I still remember some of the that things we were doing. Yes. That was fun. That so was fun. So I just came here and I fell in love with the buildings. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but to say, but you really, Dubai is an amazing, like a futuristic town that you, you, it's something really like from out of the this world, you know, it's a different standard of life. And uh, I love LA. I mean, I live there. I was born in America. Right. But, uh, you know, uh, moving to Dubai, like made me more, I don't know, more experienced, and it's like a, it's a serious step for it's me. It's a humbling experience. Exactly. When you tell Patrick, can you please bring my shoes in your suitcase? <laughs> Where are my shoes? It's a very humbling experience. Okay, well, well, I have to tell our listeners. I'm still wearing them. I have to tell our listeners because first thing Anna messages me <laughs> during COVID and says, I bought the most beautiful Jessica Simpson uh, uh, shields yeah. and and they won't ship them to Dubai so can I ship them to your house and you'll bring them and then the COVID hit and we got stuck with these shoes in our closet you know I didn't even know they were there at one point I go she's asking for the shoes where is the I shoes no, the best thing is when our house got broken into recently the first thing Persiana says did they take my shoes <laughs> Focus. Now, this is what happened. So when she was in LA, there was this modest, young, beautiful, flowering, beautiful young lady. She comes to Dubai, she's a princess, ordering everybody around them saying, bring my shoes. But you didn't give me the shoes, really. Oh, they're in the bedroom. <laughs> But is it true? Wait, they're in, the, they're in the east wing of the palazzo. Yeah, before, because uh, the thing is that, you know, I wear these shoes, but of course I don't wear one pair for like uh, five years. It, I yes. changed them. But these are kind of my signature shoes because my leg looks like best with them. And no, they, you look amazing. You know, and you're the, wearing them now. These yes? kind of, yeah, I'm wearing them. These kind yes. of pumps, they're very comfortable because um, they're different. Than but when I, when I saw the shoes, he was packing the shoes in the suitcase. I looked and I said, I swear these are I, three of the same thought, exact pair yes, of shoes. Yes, exactly. I thought, you I thought you would at least get like three different pairs. <laughs> No. I thought you were confused about the size, so you ordered one eight, one six, one four. You know, every shoe is different. Yeah. But I realized I'm like looking at the box, going, "Are you sure these are the pairs? Right. The same. Yes. Exact same. shoe." And I said to him, "I go, I go. I think she. I, I'm thinking to him, and I told Paul, I go." 
Wait, she didn't order three different colors no. or three different. It's no, the same it's the shoe. same exact shoe. Well, I have different colors, but I mean, yeah. they're not the black, so the black are the single. Well, well we brought yeah, them. You brought them. We, we, dragged, we them dragged them in the suitcase all the way. Yes. I guess you I can, can take the, the, the LA, LA out of the girl and put Dubai, Dubai but you can never fashion. take the fashionista uh, out of the fashion. No matter, where, no matter she where she goes, she loves her shoes. Absolutely. Her heels are yes. it. I like the shoes and I like the gold. You know, I like what, gold. What's your favorite place it's in Dubai? Yeah. Favorite place is, yeah. of course, Palazzo Versace. Why am I dressed up with a purple dress? Come on, tell me. Yeah, why would you make us dress in purple? I love it. Well, Paul, you have to do some outfits in purple. We're in Palazzo I Versace. I do. I, I have to do some purple. I have Lila. You brought her a purple dress. I did. I love. You brought you a purple dress. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Why didn't you show it me purple? till now? Oh, was I not supposed to tell her? Oh, I just ruined the surprise. Yes, that's purple. <laughs> oh well, no. Actually, it's blue. You didn't hear that. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. So what's going to happen? We're going to do, we're doing fashion show on the 16th. Yes, you're actually, okay, I'm not going to No, you can't tell that. But we're going to do a run, we're going to do a no, casting. Okay, by the way. I, oh, we're going to do, so I would, perfect. We're going to do a casting. Okay. Casting. So you get to pick the models, Paul. I get to pick the models. I want, I want Martin to pick the models. Yeah, I want so each of them. Show, you're coming on 14th to select models for my show also. I'm inviting Oh, I am? Oh, I didn't 14th. know that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's another show on the 14th? No, 14th is the casting day for my show. So I want I to am so that. busy. I don't know if I have time for all this much excitement. Just me, no one has it. Oh, my God. Okay, so I want everybody to look like him. Six foot seven with high heels and, you know, yeah. skinny, skinny and tall. Lanky, skinny, and tall. That's yes. what I want. What, what I want to know is... How did he grow this tall? Yeah. You're like the Burj Khalifa <laughs> walking around. I swear to God, I don't think I've seen another Arab that walks around. You're Egyptian. Yes. So in Egypt, are you like the one of the pyramids? When you like stand next to it, you're like the same height. How many Egyptians are your size? Uh, not much, but... No, because most of them are felt, shorter, I'll I think. I'll tell you something. I felt short in Amsterdam. Yeah, well, yeah. I of course. really did. Go were to you, Germany. But were you standing straight or were you laying down? Amsterdam is a very <laughs> special place. So I, I want to know if it was standing on your two feet or laying. I was walking on the street and I found people taller than me. I was like, oh, the magic is gone. Oh. I have to go back to Dubai. And you, and Martin, <laughs> you've I'm never been. Martin, you've never been to the US? I've been, of course. You have. I haven't been to. I haven't been to LA. I've been to Miami. I've been to New York, and New York, I like Brooklyn. Uh -huh. And I've been to Queens. I've been to Manhattan. I've been to Monsi to visit my Jewish friends. When I tell he someone, went to all the wrong places. <laughs> okay. No. He went to wherever Grinder took him. <laughs> <laughs> Miami, New York. Left. <laughs> I even went to Harlem. You did. Harlem. It's beautiful. Harlem's gorgeous. Because when someone says, "I'll oh, only go there in New York," why? I will yeah. go. I Everywhere. Take my chances. Yes. Queens is beautiful. Did you take the F train? You have to take the F train. Uh, so much happens on the F train. Oh, we're talking about the I haven't train. had the. Shut no, up! You're not supposed to say oh, that. The F I train. didn't have the pleasure of taking the subway, but. You would have had a lot of pleasure. Yeah. Does, 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 does Martin look like he takes the subway? Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay. So, did you take the Rolls Royce on the route of the F train? I pardon, it, pardon me. I spoke Martin out of showed up today at the hotel, not in a taxi, not on the train. Oh, my driver just dropped me off. Does everybody have a driver in Dubai? Yeah. They do, right? Of course. Okay. But I don't know how to drive. I'm a professional passenger. <laughs> Oh that. my God, I'm going to use that in LA. Can I borrow a it? Professional I'm a passenger. professional backseat driver. Oh, that's true. I'm you, a professional passenger. You same thing, passenger. Persiana, you don't? Well, I have my driver license. No, she used to drive in LA. Yeah, but how does it go from where you used to drive in LA to coming to Dubai? You don't drive, right? I wasn't driving in LA. I you weren't? Driving, I, no, I got my license in Dubai. Oh. oh. I'm not driving because I have a Why does she need to she's drive? a driver. Yeah. She has she has the same shoe 20 times. Why does she need how many cars wait? Does your car match your outfit? Probably. Well, I'm not asked that. Yeah. <laughs> right? But which one you have many? Which one is he referring to? No, it's just based on the outfit. So De depending white, on the outfit, it's a fashion color. statement. Or if I wear white, then I have a white car, so it depends. Yeah, because you don't want to clash. Yes. I understand. Cannot clash. I understand. Would you ever go back and live in, a, in the U.S. again? I wouldn't go back, and I'm not even here. After living in Dubai, would you ever go back? Well, you never 
know what's gonna happen. So yeah. I don't know. I'm good here now. I'm developing. We have this event now. I'm developing also my career, doing a few nice. songs and yeah. So we also have uh, now a new product coming out, um, uh, which is a water with golden flakes. A so water with okay. golden flakes. It's only in Dubai really do they make of this stuff. Only in Dubai. <laughs> Can we reveal the name or not quite yet? We could. Yeah. Okay, what's the name? Cleopatra Gold. I Cleopatra love it. Gold. Not regular gold, Cleopatra Patra Gold. gold. Mm. I must tell you, it's beautiful. We're yes. working on the project also together. Yes. The water is amazing. The formula, the packaging, the branding. It's like real gold flakes? It is yeah, real, it's real gold. gold. And what does that do for you? Is yeah. that like a immune thing? Yeah. You know, is it healthy for you? I'm so happy that I was able to taste it. We didn't get I any. I haven't tasted it. <laughs> they didn't bring me in. Well, they didn't bring me any! <laughs> For now, I was keeping it, so after we finish this, you're gonna... Yes, I'm gonna taste and it. And it, it's probably gonna be the best water we ever had. Wait, if I drink the gold, can I go through the airport sensor, or is it gonna yeah, yeah. run off some <laughs> sensors? No, it's just, it's gonna it depends how many bottles are you gonna drink. Multiple! <laughs> I'm gonna take as much gold with me as I can, and if that's the way I can get it back into the country without declaring it, I'm there. So when is the water coming out, officially? So after okay. yeah. I guess a few months. Nice. Uh, but yeah. the thing is that we don't have like we have a normal water. Okay. But we also have two different uh, flavors. So oh. one of the flavors is something very interesting, which is uh, my own. I might say like I don't want to say innovation. Like a recipe. Own, yeah, my own recipe. It's uh, with chocolate. Nice. So I believe this is uh, like you drink hot chocolate. Oh. But it's water, but it's zero calories. Okay. And you it gives you the flavor of chocolate. The flavor I'm going to be drinking So basically, this. They're, they've, they have invented and made rich water. I want It's some. rich people water. Poor people some. do not drink this water. No, I want some. <laughs> it's not about that, actually. Like, I tell you something. It's, it's what poor water. person is going to afford? A gold flake water. No, it's not about that. It's not about... Nobody is a poor here. <laughs> they have drivers. You and me... Oh, sorry. That side of the room is rich. Yes. This side of the room... We have to drive our own Mercedes. We have to drive house. ourselves. We have to, <laughs> we have to park the car. Oh I don't even know how to Excuse use me, the babe, button wait, wait, that parks the me. car by itself. Our Mercedes drives itself and it parks itself. I know, but I never use those features. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid. I like to drive myself. I'm like... <laughs> it's a very scary scenario. Yes. So another interesting thing I wanted to mention is that yeah. actually this water is not a crazy amount. I mean, we made it in a way that all the people... Can Everybody afford can it. afford it. And do you make it here in Dubai? Yeah, we have our... Wow. our you but see, this is, this is rich people. <laughs> this is rich people giving back to my community <laughs> to be able so I can afford to drink how rich people live. Exactly. I love it. Dubai has, I think, some of the m most rich people in the world or in Dubai, Look, I would I say. I, I would like to say something. Sure. Please, please, please share with me more rich, <laughs> more rich stories I want to know. About rich or not rich. No, it's not, because when you're rich, that's exactly what a rich person says. It's not about rich or poor. That's what a rich person says. A poor person never says that, because it is about poor. Something. Yes. It's, if you give someone yes. who is inexperienced a million dollars, yes. we'll lose it. It's no, the they bottom. go to shopping and where they drive. They still lose it. They lose They will. It. But if yeah. someone is rich with this, yes. with mind, that's a rich person. No, that's it's true. Person. It's true, Martin, because they're always saying there's the they're always saying that people that win the lottery, if they don't know how to spend money before they win the lottery, they always go broke. There they always go broke, no matter how much they win. To work with money. Okay, so There's an art to make money come to you. It's yes. not an easy thing. So how do I sign up? Where do I sign up? And how, <laughs> how can I be on this F train? No, the R train. The rich train. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be on the R train. No, I think you're doing They well. don't go on the train. Sorry. I want to be on the R, -R. <laughs> passenger train, passenger car. I understand what you're saying, but Martin... Some yes. of us who have not experienced rich, like the way you guys live, I have to make one dollar seem like it's a million for myself to feel good about <laughs> what I earned. I arrived to this country 10 years ago 
with 400 dirhams in my pocket that's almost 130 dollars that's well, because i did not take a dollar from my father even though he offered i just didn't want to be that one that <laughs> put the hand out i came here and i built everything i never borrowed a dirham she's my friend she can't verify from yes, lying sure. nice. i never borrowed a dirham from a person i built everything the first five years being a model was amazing mm. because it's not about the money that you make. It's who you become in the process. That is the true prize. True. And, and 100%. most people just don't see it because they only see from the surface, okay, a silk shirt or, or a Rolls Royce. He had to say but those things. <laughs> he, just, to say he just dropped it like a silk shirt or a Rolls Royce. Not Mercedes, <laughs> not house <laughs> <laughs> cars, <laughs> not Range Rover. <laughs> So, Persiana, you have some celebrities coming to your event. So, who we get, who we get to see there? Of course, it's a, it's a gala that's called Night of the Stars. So, we're going to see many celebrities, including Middle East celebrities, of course, one of the top ones. Okay. Uh, celebrities from Hollywood, you guys, of course. I mean, Aww. no need to say, uh, we also have uh, Turkish celebrities. We're bringing like a very famous actor and singer from Turkey. Can you say his name? Yeah, it's Berko Tai. Actually, I'm watching him all the all the episodes I'm watching on the TV. Nice. <laughs> right? So we're bringing him to Dubai. Okay. And, uh, also, you know, I want to mention. Do you know why did I picked up the Bush Khalifa and why did I choose Martin to host? No, him? I'm sure you're gonna tell us. This is the whole the tallest uh, tower in the world and the, the tallest uh, <laughs> tallest <laughs> person Dubai. in Dubai. Yeah. So. Yes. Not in Amsterdam, but in yes. Dubai. Yes. Because our listeners are listening. He's like. A giant, six seven. Like six seven. And so on that, all, wait, all you hot listeners mm -hmm. out there who are looking for a, a hot Arab, he's available, or maybe not. But it's okay, you know, he's available. Mm -hmm. And on that note, don't forget to rate, review, you, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so you get notified of when our new episodes come out. Martin, you have been working with some of the housewives. Some of the Dubai housewives, so spell the T. Who are the new housewives? You gotta tell us. Uh, Who's coming back? Okay, there are two. So we know Caroline Stanbury and Sergio are back. Yes. We know Nina. Sergio's Ali. not a housewife. I think Sergio He's just a plus one. <laughs> I think Sergio wants to be a housewife. <laughs> well, he's a good house husband. He, yeah, I, I like think Sergio. they're all wonderful. I mean, uh, Sergio's hot. I gotta tell you, he's pretty hot. They're all amazing, really. I mean, <laughs> they, they have certain energies. Yes. And uh, one of my favorite is my good friend Sarah. We because love Sarah. Friend, Sarah Almadani. Love her. Yes. And uh, you know that Paul made her gown for the reunion. Yeah. Don't year. tell him. Last year. Because we're, we're going to rate it at Runway Rundown. I don't want him to know so that he doesn't know. Well, you know just if told him that's what we're doing for Runway Rundown. I wasn't telling him that. I just said you wore it. But I don't want him to know. But I already knew from the beginning. Oh, she knows my that you did God. The that's okay, a so spoiler Sarah alert. Lugani, who else is on the new season? Caroline Brooks. Yes. Is, is Lisa Milan back? Okay, Lisa so Milan. who's next? Who's I next? Tell you, there are two. Philly oh, right. Chanel's back. Chanel Ayon. I can, you, I can tell you this. Yes. There are two housewives. Two one housewives. Oh, well, oh. But from... This is all I can tell you. But one from is from Dubai? Atlanta, right? Phaedra Parks is coming. I don't know. <gasps> Look at that look. It's Phaedra Parks. Phaedra's coming! Oh, my God. He's, he's playing with his Martin Silk, collar. His silk yes. shirt. So, okay, silk so Phaedra Parks. Collar. And then who's the next one? Is it another Amarati? This is all you get. Okay, Phaedra Parks, and who else? One more American, that's all I can tell you. <gasps> oh! We got two Americans coming. Phaedra Parks, you heard it here first on Undressed with Paul and Patrick. That's what I'm calling the Dubai housewives all made in America. Uh, that's pretty much, right? <laughs> <laughs> How was it? They when, are. You filmed with them, right? On some level, yeah. You, oh, yeah. you filmed with the, house, the housewives. How were they? Uh, they're, they're wonderful. I mean... Uh, oh, don't lie to us. Tell us the bullshit. No, <laughs> what did they make you do? So, and then what did you do? Yes. So, no, so what was the... Things. I, I, I dressed up Sarah. You I, did? I love working with her. Okay. I dressed up for almost the entire... Cast. Nice. Yeah. What event was it? Uh, like, were they going shopping? Were they walking? Were they... A few dinners. few okay. dinners. In, in each other's houses. Uh, a scene in uh, Versace. 
Oh, oh, they were at the Palazzo Versace. Yes, and the Polo Club where you guys are going also. I think. No, we're going to the Polo Club? I love club the Polo we Club. just a few days ago. Okay, okay. well, I'm going to have to ask all the waiters there what happened. <laughs> who threw what at who? The throwing was in a house, not in a Oh, house. my Where? God. Wait, who threw it? It wasn't you in just, Sarah's you just house. Give me, do, you want, do you want the material? Yes. 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 The yes. yes. Tell us who threw what? Who threw what? Was it the new housewife? We don't know. Don't say their name, but did the new housewife throw something at an old housewife? Phaedra threw it at Caroline Brooks. Oh, my God. I got I it. I can't believe it. I was right. I look at his expression. Uh, I'm watching the show through your eyes. <laughs> I can't believe it. Much more interesting the way the uh, version, so, your version is so nice. Okay, so Phaedra <laughs> threw something. I didn't say. But we don't know who. He didn't say she's in this big giant smile. It's Phaedra. It's okay. it's okay. Okay, so if it happened at somebody's house, whose house was it? Lisa's. Yeah, there's no way you did it at Sarah's house because Sarah will not tolerate <laughs> that kind of shit. Maybe she was the one that threw it. I can, believe, I can that. believe that. I believe that. And she should throw it. That's my girl. You throw it, Sarah. You go, baby. Exactly. And on that note, do you want to start Runway Rundown? Okay. So here, <laughs> this is a segment that we do with all our guests. And it's called Runway Rundown. You want to tell them what run do, Runway Rundown So Runway Rundown, rundown is we have picked some interesting looks. Some good, some bad, some ugly. And some we don't want to talk about. Correct. And we're going to critique them. <laughs> we're going to tell you what the look is. We're going to talk about it. And then we're going to give you our opinions. And we're going to let you guys give us your opinion. You're first. going to give us your opinion first. And then we will give you ours. Okay. Yes. Because we want to know what you feel. You're a designer. You have a great eye. You are an artist. You have great perspective. We want you to share with us. And I want you to be honest. Not as honest as you were about who threw what. But I want you to be more honest. He was very honest. He said Sarah threw it. Oh, he that's right. <laughs> he did. He did. He was honest. He said Sarah threw it. I saw that it. giant smile. Sarah threw something at Phaedra Parks. Good job, Sarah. You saw it, baby. <laughs> She's my girl. Okay, so the first look we have is... Say the name. Oh. Oh. This is Caroline Brooks. Caroline Brooks. Yes. And these are some of the reunion looks yes. that... Uh, were shot from season one. Correct. So you watch season one, you're friends with them for season two, and we want you to tell us, let's rate the runway rundown. Where do we rate her, and what did we like and not like about her look? Uh, okay. Uh, it's only a one hour show, so <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's not take that much time. Okay. The, the inner of the dress I didn't like. The inner of the dress. Yes. You yes, mean the, the underlining. Color. Yeah, the underlining. The nude yeah. did not match her skin tone because it was off by multiple shades. I hated the crown. I hated the sleeve. He wasn't done. He I just hated got the bust. He just got started. Oh. Yes. No, and then... But, but I think I'll tell you something. Uh, Caroline has such a strong personality yes. that masks out all the flaws. What did he just say? Wait, I, that must have been in Arabic yes. because I did not understand. Say it in English. I feel... Her personality is much, much stronger than whatever she wears. So you just pay attention to the character. Yes, there are something clearly wrong with the dress, but all I But we're talking about fashion. We want to bring yeah. it back to the fashion sense, not her the, personality. The, the lining was not right at all. Right. And it, if it shows on photo, it showed in video. It just wasn't. Of course. Good. It wasn't. Good. And I. And Sienna, I, chime in. Persiana, tell us. What do you think? Okay, so as an artist, I'm going to tell you that okay. this is a dress that it's not from this world. It's like, <laughs> it's, having, it's having some message, this dress. I mean, I'm not yes. going to look at the fabrics, I'm not going to look at the quality, but the <laughs> dress itself. Uh, it's Why not look at the fabric and the quality? No, because this is something that, you know, there is some message in this dress. There's a message. Okay. There is a message. And I think it's like kind of future thing or like, a, I, don't, I don't want to say fantasy because you're going to tell me that because I'm doing a fantasy show. Yes. But something like a, Out of like this a world. dream, you know, like a dream. I think she was auditioning for Ursula from Little Mermaid. Yeah, she looks like that actually. I think, <laughs> but I mean, as just my professional Unfortunately, opinion, Melissa McCarthy got the part. My professional <laughs> opinion about this gown, which is supposed to have a desert theme, missed the mark. 
Yeah. It really played more to a costume than a yes. gown. It wasn't made quite well. Actually, before the reunion happened, she was on the phone with me. Yeah. And I was going to be making her gown because it didn't even come out quite the way that she When she put it on, she did not like it at all. But she did want to honor the heritage and the place it came from. Jamaica, and right? Is it Jamaica? Yeah, I yeah. think so. I think Jamaica. And so she went ahead and did it and I supported her. Yeah. But when I did see the finished product, I think she, the designer could have spent either a little more time or more quality in being able to achieve a look that could have really resonated with the message yes. that she wanted to be able to express. Especially especially for a reunion. Yeah. If you watch any of the reunion no, looks, but babe, you have especially to, for the very first, first reunion. reunion. Yeah. And you know I, mean? I think she's that beautiful. Will be out there. Yes. Yeah. And yes. I think I I think she I, I I mean, she's very pretty. Yeah, she's and you're right. She does pretty. have a she big a personality. Strong, yes, character. but her personality, you missed it because it was overtake overshadowed by the costumer. But what I don't understand is this: if you come in close and you see her, that's what he was talking. Her about. girdle, move on, right? The, the top, you're, not, that, you're not supposed to see this, right? No. Okay. I don't think she wanted anybody <laughs> to see it, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. I, I have to say, this is one of the best. And it's not just... Who is it? Well, it's Sarah Almadani. Sarah Almadani. <laughs> and... Uh, the dress is amazing. <laughs> I mean, whatever I say, I don't need to even say anything. It's but please immortal. do! It's immortal. I want you to continue, it, it please. Really, don't stop. It really showed... How angelic Sarah is. Thank you. Yeah. Extenuated. And Thank even you. with very few words, the dress said everything. Do you know that he never Hold had on. a live fitting with let, her? Let her finish. No, it was just on FaceTime. Nice. She has too much Photoshop, I think. Oh, I don't yeah. know about the Photoshop. <laughs> We're looking at the dress. We're looking Not at the face. The dress. <laughs> I don't think she did Photoshop because she's naturally beautiful and she had her yes. makeup done when she sent us the photo. What is this photo like a few years ago? No, no, that was last year, at the, the reunion. reunion. Oh, because I didn't see her. Like, maybe she changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was at the reunion. Yeah. So the dress, I mean, honestly, I hate sequins like this. I don't like this. Type. I'll tell the designer you it's said not that. My style. It's not your style. Paul, she hates that. sequins. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he knows which show are you in. Are you really going Forget to it. Your <laughs> no, no, no. Please do because I'm going to. No, I'm going to correct it. Go ahead. She okay. has to be honest. I want her to okay. be honest. I don't see a message in this dress. It's just something put together and it looks cheap. Okay. That's my opinion. The other one is better. The quality is not good, but okay. this is no message. Now, this gown I made. Oh, my God. <laughs> and this gown has... has I tried to warn you. <laughs> this is the number one Persiana, gown. Persiana, get the fuck out. No. <laughs> I, I respect her opinion, even though it may be very flawed, because this gown is hand beaded yes. with crystal. Yes. It's hand beaded with glass beads, and it also has a patterned motif. And the theme was desert, right. desert glam. And she's Muslim, so they had to cover. She had one sleeve, yes, and I had a smaller sleeve for the other side. And she said, Paul, I needed to be a little more dramatic. So I gave her a capelet on the other side where she wanted to be more modest. If you look at her bust line, it was moved up a few inches because she wanted to stay within her religious modesty and portray her true sense. Right. Because I have this gown also in the collection that has a plunging V. Which is the what front, the dress is. Which yeah. is the dress is. Yes. But I wanted to respect her yes, perspective, her religious beliefs, and give her something that she could represent herself comfortably in a platform worldwide yes. for her first time out to be revered. And she actually was the number one gown around the world. She was number was one. Best dress. It was, it was the I, number one I gown. I personally don't like this kind of gowns. I don't know. It's something, you see, I'm always like made 
without the crystals. I wore your dress one time in Beverly Hills where yes. I was singing your song, this purple dress. Yes. yes. I love this one. Yes. It's with the, the shiny things, but the reason why I wore it is because yeah. I really loved it. Well, I it, I'm glad you this amazing. wasn't. Yeah. I'm glad this wasn't made for I you. <laughs> but of, for her, my, my thing, you know? we. Like and I'll tell you a story. And the about feathers this. was gave the whole desert theme. And going. I'll tell you about this dress. This dress was found one and a half hours before she wore it. Yeah. I never had a fitting with her. Yeah. Because she was in uh, different places. In Dubai. Taping, yeah. and then she was in Dubai. And then she, by the time she went to New York to do the taping of the show, the package was lost. They so lost the So by the time dress. she flew in, we found the dress. As a matter of fact, in the middle of the night when I found out that the package was lost, yeah. I went back to my studio and I sewed another dress in eight hours. A brand new dress. Because I was going to fly from... Not with the same fabric, though. Different. Yeah. I was going to fly from L.A. to New York. Mm -hmm. I figured it's five hours, and I can deliver the dress to set, and then she can wear it for the set. And the dress that he sewed as the backup dress for this went to the Oscars. Went year. to the Academy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad you don't like the details, but it has gotten a lot of publicity. <laughs> Yeah. Even this, I don't like it in my dress. Let's talk about this one. Let's talk about who is she? Chanel Ion. Chanel Ion. I love her. You know, Chanel is always misunderstood. Yes. Yes. And I feel people don't give her enough um, space to really express herself. Okay. And they always go for the wrong and highlight it when in fact she's like. A little girl with so much to say and so much to show. Correct. But what about the fashion? What is she talking about the fashion, about the fashion the dress, though? Yeah. For the dress, I think it's beautiful. It's a daring color and um, it's unique. It's memorable. Okay. I also have the same opinion about this dress because it's kind of different. It has the crystals again, but it's something that you can remember. And I think it's like a, this one of this paradise bird. I Paradise. Like Big Bird. Now, you know this bird, yeah. <laughs> That's not paradise. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me... <laughs> it's, uh, Martin, it reminds me of Big Bird. Okay. I mean, it does. So, I, I have to say, it reminds me of Big Bird. Yeah, it's, I'm just... During, the, sh during the show, okay. Chanel Ayan had worn multiple beautiful gowns. Right. Made by another friend of yours. Yes. That There's we two mutually know. Yes. And... I think for a reunion look, the mark was missed. I don't think this was her original dress. I think she had to switch it because it's not desert theme. It's not desert glam. It doesn't have the colors or the textures that would complement. And I feel like because of the fit, which wasn't proportioned to her body, this may have been something off the rack that they may have had to adjust to put on her. Right. You see the curves that aren't quite the silhouette that was supposed to be but, there. But like you said, but during the show, she made, had the yes. most amazing gowns. So I didn't understand why at the reunion, she chose this and didn't go with like some of the but gowns we don't she wore know, the we don't know what happened like in the, the backstory. back. backstory. Yeah. But she's a beautiful girl. She and can I think wear a she paper bag wear, and look amazing. She can, in America, yeah. we say you can wear a trash bag and it could rock. She's the tallest housewife. Yeah. yeah. And she's beautiful. She's got stature. She knows how to work the runway. She yeah. can wear anything and make it look beautiful. But I feel like in the theme of what the desert glam was, this was glam. But it certainly wasn't desert. And it missed the mark because of the color and it missed the mark because of the fit mm -hmm. although she's got an amazing figure yeah. it's not showcased properly next okay and her jewelry was stunning yeah how it matched the hair Absolutely. very pretty yeah i just didn't like the way it fit on her boobs either yeah yeah, yeah. so i i understand that well sometimes they have to go off the rack you never know what happened in the background mm. Um, this is Nina Ali. Let's not say anything. Let's give it to Persiana. Go ahead, Persiana. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, this is your style. Actually, it looks like... Wait, I'm going to careful. <laughs> 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 Tell me 
tell us how you really feel, yeah, Christiana. Yeah, just tell us. No, this dress. I mean, do you believe me? Yes. Of course. We of want course. your perspective. We want you to be yeah. honest. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you like the color? Do you not like the color? Do you like, like the shape? The Do you not color. like the shape? I like the color. I like the color combination as well. And I like yeah. this pink here that's like, because you see it's kind of my style also. The, the slit. The, yeah, the yeah. The slit. And I think it fits her very well. And it's, there's some kind of a message in it. There's a message. I think, you know, because I'm saying always message, message, but yes. for me as an artist, as a singer, it's important to deliver a message. It's sure. Not that's why when there is a message in the dress, I really see it. Um, well, you like this, right, Persiana? You like this dress. Would you wear a dress like this? I would. Yeah. yeah. See? You know, I like the fact that the dress made her younger. Yes. You know, it's like... We're, we're Which aspect of the dress do you feel made her younger? The uh, cleavage, the, the slit, bust hair, yeah. the bust yeah. line. Okay. The bust line. I don't like the shoes. You don't like the shoes? I picked the shoes. You did? I did. She sent me pictures. She only gave you two choices, though, to pick from. So that's not you picking the we shoes. We only had the you picked out of the two shoes. Yes. Another choice. Yes. Right. That's not you well, picking the shoes. Well, she gave you two choices. You picked the best one. Really made her younger. <laughs> yeah. So this gown, we work collaborated together. The original style is not like this. Although all those beads, the thirty-six diamante crystal beads that are hand woven all the way through the bust line in the nude mesh that with the nice cleavage that I gave her and the slit we actually had to adjust the dress yeah. and I never did a fitting with her either oh, and FaceTime. when she delivered when the dress was delivered to her she actually put it on and did a whole twirl yeah. in her yard and she goes I can't believe it fits me like a yeah. glove yeah. Just like what uh, Sarah said to me. And it's interesting because Sarah, he wanted to give the, the, the bust line and the cleavage and the breath. But it was She didn't not, want it yeah. because of her religion. It wasn't she normal. couldn't do that. Yeah. So, he but, chose the opposite. But thank you for saying that she looks really youthful and fresh. And, but she's a beautiful person. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful person. Why do you think she's not back on Housewives, Martin? To be honest, I don't know her in person. Okay. And uh, how do you not know her in person? What's, what is she the... has multiple Rolls Royces, <laughs> multiple Sky Rises, multiple properties in America and internationally. Well, she's uh, your caliber still... kind of people. Is she not? She was one of the wealthiest on the show. I think she's a real wealthy housewife. Yeah. The the thing is, I I haven't had the chance to actually meet her in person or talk uh, to her in person. Yeah. But I only heard good things about her. From the housewives and outside also. Oh, very she nice. She has a very good reputation here. Yeah, she should. How, how does the people of Dubai, how are they taking this all in? That Dubai is on Bravo, Real Housewives of Dubai is being shown. What's the general consensus of people here locally about the show? It's new for them. Okay. You know, uh, they're still processing it. They're absorbing it, but I think they're ready for season two because season two is much. Better. But that's a nice way of saying because we've talked to a few people here in Dubai mm -hmm. and nobody seems to like the show. In Dubai, they don't like the way it represented them. They don't. Do you feel that it didn't represent Dubai the way you would have liked Dubai to be represented? Um, not at all. If I'm the producer, I would still do it the same way. Okay. I told you, like, Bravo knows how to make a story. And, Prashanna, from a woman's perspective, do you like the way Dubai housewives were portrayed here? I do. And do you like the way they showed the city, the country you of know, Dubai? You know, to be honest, I never watched that. <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are, they comp are they competing with Beverly Hills housewives? I don't think I watched that. No, 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 the Dubai housewives <laughs> or the other housewives. Are they, are they trying to make it like another housewife? What was so special yeah, about Dubai different. that was different? Yeah. The mentality is different. They're all American housewives. Yes, but right. they're living here. Yeah. And after a few years, you become a Dubai. Ah. You change your mentality. Really? Yeah, you shape shift to Dubai. It became same with me, actually, when I moved from LA to Dubai. I mean, like two years, then I'm a completely different person. Like, the way I'm acting in front of people, even though this culture also got me in, you know, I'm like trying to dress up more. Like, mm -hmm. It's not like in LA, just I walk with my shorts and that's it. So right. I, I kind of, it, it changes you. Yeah. Do you feel like Dubai is a more exclusive city? Like Beverly Hills is an exclusive city. You either can make it in Beverly Hills or you can't. 
There's no like halfway in between. You can't be like, oh, I'm kind of making it. You're in the middle, you either make it or you fail. And I feel like Dubai is the same thing. There's no real like in between. Living here is very difficult. Yes. Um, if, like living in Dubai is a job. You okay. You need to find, to find something else to do. Right. Here, we have to dress in a certain way. We have to speak in a certain way. Right. There's like, you know, there's a, you're on a movie or you're in a movie. Mm-hmm. All day. You just don't see the camera. Right. You're performing every single second. And why? How is that even? It's just the way it is. I mean, I mean. Who sets that? Who sets the standard for that? Yeah. Uh, let's say. It's everywhere. The society. It's everywhere. Because you know no. you're expected to look a certain way, talk in a certain way, and when you have businesses here, you need to be extremely careful because you're the face of all your brands. One mistake can erase the. Isn't years. that the same in Beverly Hills? Isn't that the same in Paris on the Champs Elysees? No. Isn't that the same no? thing in no. London on really? Knightsbridge? Times hundred here. Really? Do you feel that because people hold you to a higher standard here? Yes. They're expecting more. More mm. every single Interesting. time. It's like a race without a finish line. Wow. So how do we compare to coming to Dubai right now? Because I feel underwhelmed. <laughs> I mean, what should we do? Besides my happiness that you guys are here, I think, uh, I think you're gonna have so much fun. And I'm glad that I get to spend all this trip with you. Let, let's Martin, do we fit into Dubai? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Does Dubai fit in you? Nobody fits in us. <laughs> Because Beverly Hills is a country, city, village of its own. There's only Everyone, one Beverly Hills in the entire world. I Everyone tries to be Beverly Hills, yeah. even Dubai, but it's something that's so unattainable. Mm-hmm. And I think the difference is we don't have to try to talk like that, walk like that, or dress like that. We are that. Yeah. And everywhere else, they use all of those to be able to identify who they are, which is beautiful. But yeah. it's not the same. Mm-hmm. It's not the same. Yeah, because I don't think the clothes matter. I don't think the jewelry matters. I don't think the... It's the hair. whole mentality, the whole yeah. persona, yeah. if you will. Yeah. So, but I, I love Dubai for what it is and how it's become something so beautiful in the Arab countries that it yeah. creates such a diversity and it has such inclusivity. Because I also get to see the different nationalities that are here, the different types of people that can thrive in Dubai as an opportunity instead of just thinking that America is the only place that they can go to. Dubai is so diverse. Yeah. You have more than 200 nationalities here. We are an international... And cultures and religions. Without the takeoff and landing. We're just living in a big airport here. And it's wonderful. Uh-huh. What a great way to describe it. I love it's that. It's the safest place in the world. You know, this yeah. Right. Which for me is important because, uh, I mean, I like Take LA a lot, step. but, you know, being Where did you drink safe from? in LA, like, make me okay, drink. live in Dubai, make me, you know, move to Dubai because right. being safe is most important. And even though you wear all these big jewelries and that, yeah. you're not scared even if you lose it or it just it drops off. Martin was saying you could leave his phone on the table, go upstairs, yes. come back a half an hour later, the phone will still be there. Feel it. And that's what I like because they have some kind of uh, discipline. And what uh, Paul said also regarding Beverly Hills, I think that Beverly Hills and Dubai, they cannot compare because it's like different planets. It's like Morrison, for example, yeah. Yeah. or whatever. Yeah. It's just different. So, uh, I mean, I love Beverly Hills. It's a different kind of life. I love it. Yes. But I also love Dubai because it's different. Right. And can I uh, can I leave my wallet downstairs at the restaurant yes. by mistake? But when I come back, can they put money in it, please? <laughs> I know they're not going to take any out, but since there's nothing in it, can they at least put... Do you do cash that's, or that's credit card? Dubai, that's metaverse. metaverse. Metaverse? Okay, so let's do metaverse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? I can do crypto. Yeah. What's crypto? Our... Crypto is big here, right? Yes. Very big here. Yes. Wow. That's the secret to 
You can buy houses with crypto. With crypto here? Well, okay. Well, do you want to try that? Crypto? With the wallet? Buy a house? No. Leave the wallet? Yeah, no, take it. I have That's three wallets it. and they're all empty. Oh my God. So. <laughs> You never know. We'll, we'll leave it at the restaurant downstairs. I'll leave it in the hallway if you want. Of course, I'll give you commission. You guys can take, bring me whatever I deserve. So now we're rest. going to do your Armenian coffee read. I'm going to read Martin's coffee because our, Martin is totally strange to me. Okay. I've never met him. I don't know anything about him. I just know that he's really, really a beautiful human. And Aww. so far, my interactions with him have been very, very pure. And I think he's got the best of intentions. And he's a little jealous of my beauty, but you know, many people are. <laughs> so many people are. So you're, you, you know, it's the same. I'll get over it. You'll get yes. over it. I'll be gone soon, so it'll be fine for you. But here's, here's what I think I see in your, in your cup. I'm gonna read the grinds. As tall as you are. Wait a minute, for, for our listeners that are not seeing, Paul has the most fabulous Versace cup yes. that he is Actually, reading out of. Uh, here's something else. If these go missing from the hotel, I'm going to go <laughs> knock it on everybody's door. I need this set in Beverly Hills so that I can do the same reading. You need two more. I need more. I need more. So um, I'll have to tell you one thing. You're, you're very tall, right? And you have such stature, yeah. but you're very highly regarded. There's, hmm. there's a um, dove on top of your head, which means there's a serenity and a peace. There's also a protector. The dove is like a protector. You have one major project that you're working on that I see that you've been working on for a while. It's gone through multiple different iterations multiple different stages, multiple different um, re, re, uh, visualizations, sort of, that you wanted to have to come true. Like realignments. And yes. And I feel like at this point, it's gotten so big, and it's gotten to a place where it's actually going to happen. And it's in a form of a swan. A swan is this animal that bites, attacks, like a but it's beautiful on the outside and it says don't touch me unless i allow you to interesting so either there's a person in your life making this happen with you a partner or this is the project itself which people want to tear down that you've tried to reimagine and it's going to happen interesting and however it happens there's a female attached to it so I don't know if the swan is a female or if the identity of it is a female. Because, and it's skyrocketing Could it be so his fast. business partner? Because you have a female business partner, right? And Paul did not know that. Oh, I... Come on, don't. He doesn't know that. Oh, you're okay. the sister. She's my sister. She's also my business partner. Uh, but I guess we didn't talk about each other to you guys yeah. that... In, in depth, I guess. No, no not like we that. didn't know that you guys were part, like I didn't know that. Because whatever is happening here is so big, I think it's bigger than you expected it to be. And however you've put it together, it's going to be something even more, it's the right time, I think, that's going to be visualized. That's nice. Instead of all the other times that you were attempting or trying or uh, helping it along. On the outside, that was your inside. On the outside, there are roads that have been paved for you. These roads are leading you into different directions, but there's one main vein it goes from, and the main vein is attached to inside your house. It's like an umbilical cord almost. So the umbilical cord is extended to the outside, and you're like, okay, here's a little piece of me here, here's a little piece of me there, but you can't go that far. You still have to, have to stay within reason. And it's all connected to each other. I want you to take your thumb, put it at the bottom. Right or left? Doesn't matter. Are you a righty? Are you yeah, righty or lefty? Right thing, eating with the left. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Put your thumb at the bottom, twist and pull out. 
at the bottom. You Wait, know, so you're you know both right and left-handed? I've never heard that before. Well, don't dig a hole in it. <laughs> ah. What? What do you see? There is this diamond at the bottom of the cup, which is a shiny object with multiple facets. And what it's showing is you're polishing this diamond and you're trying to make it shine even more bright. And whatever it is, it's connected to the project that you're working on because it's aimed and it's like lit up exactly. See, do you see it at the bottom? The shape of the diamond is right at the very bottom of the cup and it's faced right to your project. This is the swan and it goes up. So you're thinking it's the, the project for the fashion show coming up? Either the fashion show, okay. either your water, or other businesses that I don't even know about. So this is or good. Or whatever it is that you guys are trying to do. And I see, like you said, I don't know the depth of the relationship because yeah. I just met you. So it's, I hope I'm right in whatever I see and it's able to translate into something that's really fruitful and beautiful for both of you. Now that I know that it inclu well, includes... Well, we'll find out after the show. Yeah. yeah. Keep in touch. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, 99%. Oh. Wow, interesting. Another one for the books. Another one for the books. Yes. Well, guys, we could be here all night long talking with you because it's so much fun. But... Persiana, tell our listeners where they can find you. In the <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any social media, website? Tell us. Yeah, actually, my new song, that's called Guess It. Millionaire. Okay. You're good. Millionaire. Millionaire is coming out very soon. I love it. Actually, a music video, maybe like after one or two weeks. Love it. Um, Who's directing it? Well, no need to ask, right? I'm directing. Uh, yeah. Are you directing it? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, because it's about millions, you know, that's why oh. millions involved. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we, I just we, want to make sure it's And then are you on social media? We understand. Yeah. So tell us your social media. You can follow me on my Instagram, Persiana Dulo. And also I have a YouTube channel where you can also subscribe. And Love it. And then wait for my new song, Millionaire, to come out and see what kind of magic we did with, 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 with the money here in Dubai. You know? I love it. Martin... V Victor El Masri, well, where can we find you? Well, uh, my personal account is Martin El Masri, and uh, anything that's Victor, the House of Victor, and Victor Magazine, my hair brand La Beauté, wherever I'm there. I love it. Well, this is rich. We don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I have an Instagram, P O L A T T E U. Follow me, please. <laughs> Well, on that note, before I end, I just want to tell our, remind our uh, viewers and listeners again to rate, review, subscribe, hit the notification button so you get notified every Wednesday for our new episode. And you guys, we love your comments. Keep giving us your comments. And you know what? Paul and I are taking the time and we're answering you back. So keep, keep giving us Wait, comments. When was I supposed to do that? Have Bitch, you did it? it all last week. Oh, I did it already. <laughs> and I did it on the plane. Uh, on that note, you guys, Persiana Dulo, Martin Victor Al Masri, you have just been undressed with Paul and Patrick in Dubai. Thank you for coming, you guys. What do you say in Dubai? <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Herdat Media and American Media Television. Executive producers are Patrick Simpson, Paula Tu, and Pat Safford. Produced by Jordan Hill and Sarah Silikula. Shooting and editing by Jordan Hill. Music by Digital Camo. Artwork by Dominique Demetz. And hosted by Paula Tu, Patrick Simpson, and Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow at Pola2 and at Patrick Simpson and at Snow White 90210 and watch Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode.